Hello students, welcome to lecture 3 of atomic structure. In previous lecture, we discussed about discovery of electrons and discovery of protons, discovery of neutrons. Now, in this lecture, we are going to discuss about atomic models. The first model is J.J. Thomson model of atom. Let me take one diagram. This is the atom model of J.J. Thomson. So the J.J. Thomson proposed an atom that having spherical shape. So this is the spherical shape and its radius 10 to the power of minus 10 meters. So it having spherical shape. Spherical shape. and it contain positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons this atom contain positively charged protons and negatively charged electrons and this model also called plum pudding Plum pudding and also it called rising pudding. Rising pudding and also it called watermelon. Watermelon. We know that. In watermelon, we can see that uh, red color pulp and black color seeds. And in watermelon, the pulp shows the positive charge. That pulp shows the positive charge. Assume that this is the watermelon and this one is the red color pulp. And this red color pulp shows the positive charge distribution and that seeds shows electrons. The seeds shows electrons. So here it is a pulp positive charge distribution and this one is the electron so in watermelon the pulp shows positive charge distribution and seeds shows the electrons and the important feature of this model is that the mass of the atom is uniformly distributed over the atom so the mass is uniformly distributed so the mass of the atom is uniformly distributed over the atom so this is about JJ Thomson model of atom and next model Rutherford's nuclear model of atom in this model, Rutherford discovered the nucleus. That's why it is called discovery of a nucleus. Let me take one diagram here. In this Rutherford experiment, here it is a source of alpha particles, and this one is the lead plate, and it is a photographic plate, and this one is the gold foil. So the Rutherford and Hans Geiger and Ernest Morsden discovered the nucleus. Rutherford and Hans Geiger and 
Ernst Morsden. Discovered the nucleus by alpha particles. By alpha particles. Already I told you that the alpha particle nothing but helium plus 2, 2, 4. Alpha particles having positive charge. So the Rutherford and Hans Greger and Ernest Mosden discovered the nucleus by alpha particle scattering experiment on very thin gold pair. So this is the gold flare. So when alpha particles pass through the gold foil, he observed that most of the alpha particles are undeflected and few alpha particles was deflected by the small angle. So here these are the alpha particles. So here the most of the alpha particles are undeflected so see here the most of the alpha particles are undeflected and few alpha particles are deflected with a small angle and very few alpha particles are bounced back that means deflected by 180 degrees so most of the alpha particles are undeflected and few alpha particles are deflected with a small angle and very few alpha particles are bounced back. On the basis of this observation, he concluded that most of the space in the atom is empty as most of the alpha particles are undeflected. Because of the empty space, most of the alpha particles are undeflected and few alpha particles are deflected due to the repulsive force between the nucleus and positively charged alpha particle. Because there is a positive in the nucleus and there is a positive in the alpha particles so there is a repulsion between the positive charge of the nucleus and positive charge of the alpha particles so due to that repulsion this alpha particles are deflected so few alpha particles are deflected due, due to the repulsive force between the nucleus containing the protons in that nucleus we have protons and positive charge of the alpha particles so there is a repulsion between the positive charge of the alpha particle and positive charge of the protons due to that repulsion that alpha particles are deflected and very few alpha particles are bounced back from the center of atom then he concluded that positive charge has to be concentrated in a very small volume in the center that is called nucleus so here most of the alpha particles are far away from the nucleus and few alpha particles are near to the nucleus that alpha particles are deflected and very few alpha particles are passed through the center then that alpha particles are bounced back then he concluded that the positive charge has to be concentrated in very small volume in the center that is called nucleus and nucleus is surrounded by electrons that nucleus is surrounded by electrons 
and that electrons move around the nucleus with very high speed in circular paths called orbits so these are called orbits so in that orbit the electrons are move around the nucleus and electrons and nucleus are held together by electrostatic attraction force that electrons and nucleus are held together by electrostatic attractive force so he found that the nucleus is present in the center of the atom so this is about rutherford's nuclear model of atom and discovery of nucleus next to atomic number it is represented by z and mass number so the number of protons or number of electrons in a neutral atom is equal to atomic number and that atomic number represented by z so the number of protons or the number of electrons in a neutral atom is equal to atomic number z for example h1 so here number of protons is 1 is equal to number of electrons is 1 so h1 contain one proton and one electron so number of protons is equal to number of electrons another example sodium its atomic number 11 so here number of protons 11 is equal to number of electrons also 11 in neutral atom in neutral atom the number of protons is equal to number of electrons and sum of the mass of protons sum of the mass of protons and mass of the neutrons mass of the neutrons called mass number it is represented by capital a so sum of the mass of the protons and mass of the neutrons is called mass number it is represented by a and protons and neutrons protons and neutrons in a atom collectively known as nucleons nucleons so that protons and neutrons are present in the nucleus so that protons and neutrons in a atom collectively known as nucleons and here mass number a is equal to number of protons mass number of protons mass represented by z plus number of neutrons mass represented by n 
सो कैपिटल ए इज इक्वल टू जेड प्लस एन सो मास नंबर इज इक्वल टू नंबर ऑफ प्रोटॉन्स मास प्लस नंबर ऑफ न्यूट्रॉन्स मास नेक्स्ट आइसो बार्स आइटम कैन बी रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय द सिंबल एक्स एंड सुपरस्क्रिप्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज एटॉमिक मास इट इज रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय ए एंड सबस्क्रिप्ट ऑन द लेफ्ट हैंड साइड इज एटॉमिक नंबर रिप्रेजेंटेड बाय जेड सो हियर let me take one example the atom represented by x so here i am taking x and superscript on the left hand side is atomic mass so here atomic mass a and subscript on the left hand side is atomic number so here z let me take some examples hydrogen the symbol is h and atomic number 1 and mass also 1 then the carbon represented by c and atomic number 6 and mass is 12 and nitrogen represented by n atomic number 7 and mass is the 14 so the atom represented by x and superscript on the left hand side is atomic mass and subscript on the left hand side is atomic number and atoms with same mass number but differ in atomic number called isobars so mass number same but atomic number differ atomic number differ so atoms with same mass number but differ in atomic number called isobars let me take examples carbon atomic number 6 and mass is the 14 and nitrogen atomic number 7 and mass is the 14 so these two are isobars because atomic number differ but mass number same next one isotopes atoms with the same atomic number but differ in mass number are called isotopes so here same atomic number but differ in mass atomic number same but differ in mass number so atoms with same atomic number but differ in mass number are called isotopes due to the different number of neutrons let me take examples the hydrogen isotopes protium represented by h11 protium and deuterium 12 deuterium and tritium 13 so these three are isotopes of the hydrogen protium deuterium and tritium so here the atomic number same tritium 1 deuterium 1 protium 
but mass number differ protium 1 deuterium 2 tritium 3 and carbon isotopes C612 C613 C614 so these three are isotopes of the carbon so here atomic number same but differ in mass number so these three are the isotopes of the carbon next to chlorine isotopes Cl1735 and Cl1737 so atomic number same but mass number differ and isotopes shows same chemical properties due to having same number of electrons so that isotopes shows same chemical properties due to having same number of electrons because atomic number same atomic number same nothing but number of electrons is same so due to that same number of electrons isotopes shows same chemical properties so this is about jj thomson model of atom and rutherford's nuclear model of atom atomic number mass number isobars and isotopes